Hello and welcome to Security Academy. This video will be covering a variety of other common website attacks. First, we have clickjacking. Clickjacking is when an attacker routes clicks meant for a top level site to a hidden page underneath. For example, the site might look like a legitimate bank website but only looks like it. It then captures login information that the attacker can store and use later to hack into the user's bank account website. Next, we have denial of service. Denial of service attacks are achieved by flooding a site with fake requests so that legitimate users cannot access the site. Either there are numerous requests or fewer requests that just consume large amounts of resources. Defenses of this attack usually identify and block malicious traffic while allowing legitimate messages through. Then we have directory traversal attacks. This is when the attacker tries to attack access parts of files of the server's file system that they should not be able to access. This occurs when the user is able to pass file names that include file system navigation characters, as you can see here. With this attack, it may be possible to access arbitrary files and directories stored on file systems. All the attacker needs is a web browser and some knowledge on where to blindly file find any default files and directories in the system. A solution to protecting against this attack is to sanitize the input. Next, we have file inclusion attacks. In this attack, an attacker is able to specify an unintended file for display. When the file is loaded, it might be executed on the web server or client side. A solution to protecting against this vulnerability is to sanitize the input. Lastly, we have command injection attacks. This allows attackers to execute arbitrary system commands on the host operating system. And similar to file inclusion attacks, the solution to protecting against these attacks is to sanitize the input as well. With all these attacks in mind, it is important to note that most of these are successful when a web application trusts the data coming from a browser. Therefore, web application developers should take all steps necessary to verify any and all input and make sure to sanitize all user originating input before it is displayed in the browser, using SQL queries, or passed through an operating system or file system call.